Philadelphia fans, today's video is going to be 13 things to do in Philadelphia that isn't eating a cheesesteak, going to see the Liberty Bell, or watching a great sports team. Hey everybody, I'm Gregory Martier, your local real estate expert. Happy you joined us today. If you like our channel, hit that subscribe button, but don't forget to click the bell notification to get notified of all the great videos that we're doing. We put out some epic content here and we're happy to do it for you. Uh, give us a call, shoot us a text, send me an email, send me a letter, send me a telegram. They have telegrams? I think it's all. Either way, hit us up. We'll be happy to help. Call us anytime. So today's video is going to be 13 things to do in Philadelphia that aren't going to have a cheesesteak, going to see the Rocky Museum, looking at Independence Hall. And look, those things are really great. Don't get me wrong. They're really awesome. And you got to do it. And you got to do it when and if you if you move here and when you live here, and you got to take the kids and you got to take the family and you're going to have fun. And there's so many unique things like that those things have to offer. Uh, tasty cakes. Did we mention that? I think we mentioned that in another video. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty as a tasty cake. Oh, I think I have to give some uh, some rights away for that, or some 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 money, or something. Oh, look, eat some tasty cakes, eat some peanut chews, soft pretzels. We got you covered in Philly, but let's talk about some things you haven't heard of. And in no particular order, starting with number thirteen, Reading Terminal Market. They've got dozens of vendors. Food, you got arts, you got crafts, you got books, you got housewares. It's a cool spot in Center City, 12th and Arch. Been there since before the 19, 1900s. It's one of the oldest markets in America. Gotta check it out. Reading Terminal Market. All right, so in at number 12, Boathouse Row. So Boathouse Row is in between Kelly Drive and the Schuylkill River, okay? And at night, the houses are lit up. This is part of Fairmount Park. The Schuylkill Navy is housed there. There are more than 15 houses that you drive by where, as you would imagine, the boathouse, the row clubs, the row teams are housed there. Such a cool spot. It's just a, such a neat thing to see in the city along the Schuylkill River. Take a little walk down by the park. You see Boathouse Row, you gotta check it out. All right, so number 11 is Philadelphia's Magic Gardens. Now we touched on this in the South Philly video. Check out our other video there. Is it here, is it there, where is it? In South Philadelphia. But on South Street, there is a literal labyrinth of art. So you, you gotta check it out. And it's, it's hard for me even to explain until you see it, but you check out the video and we'll put some shots up of it here. But it's parts of the city turned into art and also parts of the world turned into art. Bicycle tires, pieces of glass. So a local Philadelphia resident created this area in an empty lot near his house. And now it's, it's part of our history here on, on South Street. Philadelphia's Magic Garden, it is magical. All right, in at number 10, Edgar Allan Poe Museum. That's right, he may have only lived here a year, but when he died, he left his house to the city, and now it's a historical site in the city. Here, in our fair city, he wrote The Telltale Heart, you know that one, and The Golden Bug. That reminds me of a quote from the telltale heart, and I'm probably paraphrasing, but I smiled, therefore what have I to fear? Look, you see me smiling, we're not full of fear here, something like that, but Edgar Allan Poe, gotta check it out. All right, number nine, coming down the list, number nine, again in no particular order, number nine, number nine, number nine, Shofuso Japanese Garden House. That's right, we've got one of the coolest Japanese garden houses, villas in the entire country, right here in Philadelphia. It's right in part of Fairmount Park. It's like the Japanese pagoda. You gotta see the buildings. You gotta see the, the, the gardens. It's 
absolutely phenomenal. That reminds me of Longwood Gardens. Now that's not in the city, but it, it's very neat and eclectic and unique like Longwood Gardens. Oh, by the way, check out our Longwood Garden video. Japanese Gardens, Philadelphia, Fairmount Park. Number eight is free. That's right. Even I can afford it. It's free. The Wagner Free Museum. It's Victorian scientific artifacts, but it's free and it's really, really cool. So lucky number seven, Philadelphia's Moon Tree. Yep, it's a moon tree. Now it's not where the sports fans go up and moon you, although we've been known to do that. Uh, no, honestly, there were seeds taken to the moon, then brought back here to Philadelphia and planted mm -hmm. in Washington Square Park. We have a moon tree, you saw it here. We'll put the link below. All right, number six, Fodder Museum. Just kidding, it's Mutter Museum. It's the Mother Museum, Mutter, it's German. Medical Oddities, just a cool spot. Like, who's ever heard of this, right? You heard of the Liberty Bell, but the Mutter Museum is awesome. Now in the Mutter Museum, they have a portion of Einstein's brain. It's the true fact, I wouldn't make this up. It looks like kelp. So next time you're having your kelp salad, it's gonna make you smarter. Number five, love letter murals. There are 50 rooftops in Philadelphia that have these love letters that were painted by artists. It's like one of these things you only know if you live here that happens here, right? I'm sure if you start Googling it, there's plenty of stuff on there, but love letter murals, 50 rooftops. You thinking of making a love letter to your sweetie? Check them out. So you can see these rooftops from the uh, the, the platform in um, Market Frankfurt Line there, West Philadelphia. Folks, coming in at number four, the Mummers Museum. So what is a mummer? I mean, if you haven't heard of the Mummers Parade, so the Mummers is a bunch of Philadelphians getting dressed up and and acting like they're having a great time, which they are. They put on a parade. The Mummers have been around for such a long time. Uh, uh, imagine, it, it, it's like Philadelphia is the Mummers. Imagine a roving group of drunken, disguised, masked people dressed up. Okay, they're not all drunken, but they are all disguised, masked, masked and dressed up. The Mummers Parade, just a celebration of being Philadelphia. Coming in at number three, giant ants. That's right, giant ants. Phoenixville, which is Chester County, has the blob. Philadelphia, which is Philadelphia County, has giant ants. So giant ants is also on South Street. I had to mention that, you gotta check it out. I mean, South Street is just phenomenal, but giant ants, Magic Gardens, South Street. Number two, Graffiti Pier, that's right. We're very artistic, we're very cultural here. It was an abandoned pier that, that graffiti artists took over and, and we have left it the way that it is. It, it's a cool thing to check out, it's free. It's history, it's Philadelphia. It's so neat to go there. It's a little bit eerie when you walk through, but it's really neat to see, You've gotta check it out. Number one, number one in no particular order, Shh, it's a secret. Fiume, Fiume, that's all I can say. All right, look, I can tell you more. There is a hidden secret, secret hidden, secret hidden unmarked tiny whiskey bar. That's right, there's no signs, there's no directions, and I'm telling you about it. If you wanna meet there, wink, wink, hint, hint. It's an unmarked cool little spot. They've got jazz music. They have bluegrass music there. It's actually above an Ethiopian restaurant. So we'll put the link there below. That's what makes our city as cool as it can be. Thanks for joining us on our 13 things to do that aren't eating cheesesteaks and checking out Rocky. Although those things are fun, they really are. But if you have something else fun that you did in our city or you wanted to go out and have some fun, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. 
Comment that down below. We're happy to take our cameras out there and get you to it. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Gregory Martier, your local real estate expert here in the greater Philadelphia area.